Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we're gonna be going uh, through a lab demo to demonstrate the 40 gate MAC address thread feed feature for the 40 OS 7.4.1. Uh, if you like this video and this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. So let's get started. So the MAC address thread feed, it's a dynamic list that contain uh, MAC addresses, MAC ranges, and MAC OUIs. And uh, this MAC address list is dynamically updated and stored in a text file format on external server. And the 40 gate would import this list from that server. So in our environment, the server is open to machine that has Apache web server installed in it. And uh, when you install the Apache web server, which is pretty straightforward, uh, after you install it, you go to the uh, Apache server um, directory, uh, and you go to the HTML page, uh, HTML directory, uh, and then there, uh, what you could do is you could add a text file. In our case, uh, I've added a text file called Mac. And inside this text file, I have a Mac address list. This Mac address is the Windows machine that is behind the 40 gate. Uh, and the Mac address for this Windows machine is that one specified uh, at the first line. Now, you could also specify a Mac address range as shown in the second line in here. Uh, so this is the first MAC address and then dash. And then you specify the sec the, you know, um, the end of the list of uh, MAC addresses. Or you could specify a MAC address OUI. And in this example, 000C29 is the um, VMware ESXi MAC address OUI. So this has to be um, imported by the 40 gate. So you, on the 40 gate, uh, you have to provide a URL. So in our case, the URL is going to be um, localhost, uh, and then we just put Mac. And this is going to show us the Mac address list. So again, this directory is located. Uh, inside the uh, var www and inside the HTML directory. This open to uh, machine IP address is 192.168.10.10. So let's go to the VortiGate and configure that MAC address OUI. So it's going to be located under uh, security fabric and then external connector. So if we go to the external connector, we do create a new, and then we should be able to find the MAC addresses in here. So here we're going to specify the name as MAC list, and the URL is going to be HTTP 192.168.10.10, which is the open to machine IP address. And we're going to specify the um, text file, which is uh, Mac. Uh, we don't need HTTP uh, basic authentication, so we're going to disable that. Now we're going to go ahead and press or click OK. So we'll have to give it um, a bit until the connection will be established. So it says connect pending and Let's refresh the status again. And I can see that it turned into valid. Now, if I want to view the entries, I could just click view entries. And this is the list that the 40 gate has imported from our uh, Apache uh, web server. Now, where can we use these MAC address lists? So uh, after the 40 gate imp import this list, it can be used in uh, firewall policies and proxy policies and ZTNA rules, uh, also for policies in 
uh, transparent mode or virtu virtual wireper, uh, policies, the MAC address threat feed can be used as a source or destination address. So now we can go to the policy, firewall policy, and um, let's say that we want to deny uh, this MAC address from accessing the uh, internet. So this Windows machine is located behind the uh, port 2, which is the LAN uh, network. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, specify that uh, MAC address and the source address of the policy and I'm going to deny it from accessing the internet. So if I click on the source and address, I should be able to see the list available here. So it says MAC address threat feed. Uh, so I'll click on that and add it. And I'll remove all. Now destination is going to be uh, all. And I'm going to be enabling that. And I'll do all sessions. Click OK. So I'll have to enable the policy. Status is enabled. Uh, I, I forgot to set the action to deny, but before we do that, uh, I want to show you that the machine, the Windows machine is behind port 2. So I'm going to do a sniffer here for host. 8.8.8.8 and from that Windows machine I'm going to be pinging to 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. and I can ping right now and I can see here port 2 in port 1 out so we are applying um, this deny on, like we're, we're, we're using this, the correct uh, source and destination interface, correct policy. Uh, source is port 2, destination is port 1. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the action to deny. And uh, again, I wanted to show you that and the MAC address list, uh, showing list, the MAC address view entries, the MAC address list, uh, uh, the MAC address ends with A4. So the Windows machine MAC address, I'm going to maximize this. You should be able to see the MAC address, and here we are. It is ending with A4. So now we have set it the policy to deny. I'm just going to verify that. Uh, that Windows machine should not be able to browse to the internet. And as you can see, it's not able to. Let's try to ping. And it's not pinging. Um, so this is how we use the uh, MAC address thread feed. Now, if you want to update the list, you can go to the Ubuntu server, update that MAC list uh, text file that we just demonstrated, or you could uh, add another MAC address list and uh, you know specify a different uh, text file with the different MAC addresses. Um, another thing I wanted to show you inside that thread feed 
So I'll do edit from or uh, edit in CLI. So there's a command which is set server identity check. So by default, it is set to none, but uh, there is an option which is basic that checks server certificate only and full. It checks the certificate and verify that the domain matches um, and the ser server certificate. Okay. So um, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you have uh, enjoyed and benefit from this uh, uh, video. Uh, stay tuned for future videos. See you.